drink together and to eat. We are gathering together and to him. And to him shall the gathering of the people be. We are gathering together and to him. together and to him we are singing together and to him and to him shall the singing of the people be we are singing together and to him Good afternoon to everyone. This mass is offered for the following intention. Archdiocese of Hyderabad, Santosh Nagar Parish. This mass is offered for Divyavani TV Corpus Fund donors. Chintakuntla Prakash Reddy, Alfonsa on the occasion of their 42nd wedding anniversary for the blessings, good health and good future for ch children and also for departed souls of family members. May their souls rest in eternal peace. Thanksgiving Mass, thanksgiving to God for all the graces received by family. Today's Rosary, Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God, Holy Hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, in order that we may worthily participate in this Holy Eucharistic celebration, let us sincerely feel sorry for our sins and ask God's pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done, in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through my, my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, therefore I, I ask Blessed, Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Grant that I may find mercy and that we grow old together. First reading, a reading from the book of Tobit. Chapter 6, verses from 10 to 12. And chapter 7, verse 1, 9 to 12, 15 to 16. And chapter 8, verse 1 and 4 to 9. In those days, when he entered Media and was already drawing near to Egbatana, Raphael said to the youth, Brother Tobias, and he said to him, Here I am. And Raphael said to him, We must lodge tonight with a family of Raguel. The man is a relative of yours. And he has a daughter named Sarah. 
He has no male child, no daughter, but only Sarah, and you are nearest kin to her, more entitled than all other men to inherit her, and it is right for you to inherit all that belongs to her father. The girl is sensible, courageous, and very beautiful. And her father is honorable. When they entered Egbatana, they found Raguel seated beside the door of the courtyard. They greeted him first, and he said to them, Many greetings, brothers. Welcome and good health to you. And he led them into his house. Then he killed a ram from the flock and welcomed them earnestly. When they had bathed and washed themselves and reconciled at a table to eat, reclined at a table to eat, Tobias said to Raphael, Brother Asarias, speak to Raguel that she might give Sarah, my sister, to me. Raguel heard this and said to the youth, Eat, drink, and be merry this night, for there is no person for whom it is proper to take Sarah, my daughter, besides you, brother. Likewise, I myself do not have authority to give her to another man besides you, for you are nearest kin to me. But I will never, nevertheless explain the truth to you, child. I gave her to seven husbands from among our brothers, and they all died the night on which they were going in to be with her. But now, child, eat and drink, and the Lord will act among you. And Tobias said, I will surely eat nothing here, nor will I drink until you settle the matters that concern me. So Raguel said to him, I hereby do it, and she is given to you. According to the judgment of the book of Moses, it has been decided from heaven that she be given to you. Receive your sister. From now on you, from now on, you are her brother and she your sister. She is given to you from today and forever. And may the Lord of heaven lead you both on a good path this night, child. And may be bring mercy and peace upon you both. Then Raguel called his daughter Sarah and she came to him. And taking her by the hand, he gave her to Tobias and said, Receive your wife given to you according to the law and according to the judgment written in the book of Moses. Take her and go to your father safe and sound. And may the God of heaven prosper your way in peace. And Raguel called Edna his wife and said to her, Sister, Prepare the other room and lead Sarah there. So he proceeded to furnish the room as he said to her and led her there. When they had finished eating and drinking, they wanted to go to sleep. So they escorted the youth and led him to the other room. And they came and shut the door of the private room. Tobias arose from the bed and said to Sarah, Sister, get up. Let us pray and plead with our Lord that he might bring us mercy and deliverance. So she arose and they began to pray and plead that deliverance might come to them. And he began to say, Blessed are you, O God of our fathers, and blessed is your name through all the ages and generations. Let the heavens and every creature bless you through ages. You made Adam 
and you made his wife ill for him as a helper and support. From them both the offspring of mankind came into being. You said, It is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make a helper for him like himself. And now it is not because of lust that I am taking this sister of mine, but with sincerity. Grant that she and I may find mercy and that we may grow old together. And they said together, Amen, Amen. Then they both went to sleep for the night. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Response real psalm, your response shall be, Blessed are all who fear the Lord. Blessed are all who fear the Lord. Blessed are all who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be blessed and prosper. Your response, blessed, blessed are, are all, all who, who fear, fear the Lord. Lord. Your wife like a fruitful vine in the heart of your house. Your children like shoots of the olive around your table. Your response, blessed, blessed are, are all, all who fear, fear the, Lord. the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion. May you see Jerusalem prosper all the days of your life. Your response, blessed, blessed are, are all, all who fear, fear the Lord. Lord. Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 12, verses from 28 to 34. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time, one of the scribes came up and asked Jesus, Which commandment is the most important of all? Jesus answered, The most important is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. And the scribe said to Jesus, you are right teacher. You have truly said that he is one and there is no other besides him. And to love him with all the heart and with all the understanding and with all the strength and to love one's neighbor as oneself is much more than all who burnt whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered wisely, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And after that, no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to your Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. 
dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ both in the Old Testament and the New Testament the highest the greatest commandment the greatest commandment is the love of God and the love of neighbor the love of God and the love of go neighbor we have to follow in our lives the whole Bible says and this is the greatest commandment why to love God how to love God first let us see how to love God the Bible says both in the Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4 and in today's gospel Jesus tells clearly that we should love God with all our heart with all our soul with all our mind with all our strength both in the Old Testament New Testament say the same thing and uh, why to love him with all the heart with all the soul with all the mind and with all the strength because he alone is God and there is no other letter of St. Paul to Timothy first letter chapter 6 verse 16 says he alone is dwelling in the unapproachable light no one has ever seen him he alone he is alone God is alone God is one monotheism says there is one God and worship him alone he is he alone is to be praised, worshipped, loved and believed. Exodus chapter 20 verse 3 You shall have no other gods before me, God says. You shall have no other gods. I am the God and you shall have no other gods before me. Since there is only one God, he alone is there and he alone is to be worshipped, to be believed, to be loved above everything. Adding to that, love of neighbor. Those who love God and hate their brother, they are not the real lovers. And that is not the complete love. That is not the 100% love. Without God's, without neighbor's love, there is no God's love. With, without, there is... Without God's love, there is no neighbor's love. Both go hand in hand. It is like same, both love of God and love of neighbor are both the sides of the same coin. They are two lines of the same track, railway track. They are two wheels of the same bullock cart. Therefore, the love of God and love of neighbor, they are mingled Without which, without, if one is missing from that, there is no complete love. That is why letter, first letter of St. John, chapter 4, verse 20 says, Those who say, I love God and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. For those who do not love a neighbor or brother or sister whom they have seen, cannot love God whom they have not seen. That is why when we love God, love neighbor, then only we have 100% love in our lives, including love of the, the enemies. That is the climax of our love. 100% love we can find on Calvary where Jesus died even for the sinners. Even when we were all sinners, he died for us. He died for the, even for the persecutors. He died for the atheists. He died for the rationalists. He died for all those who hate Christ himself. And that is why, that is the love, that is the complete love, to total love he shows towards us. God the Father also loves everyone because all those who are in this world, Though they belong to other religions, though they belong to other faiths, yet he loves everyone and that is why he shines, he is a sunlight to everyone. He rains, he sends the rain for everyone. That is how God loves, that is how Jesus loves 
till he sacrifices his life for all of us so let us learn that complete love total love love loving with the whole heart with all mind with all the strength from the holy trinity let us learn and start loving god and loving neighbor let us not sit on the fence sometimes our people say i believe in god the father almighty but they have their own faith their own beliefs on other things other superstitious beliefs they have blind faith and they start worshiping the nature the creation they say i love god i believe in god i worship god alone but they go after idols they worship idols so let us not do that only god sometimes people come to church their body is present mind is absent that is not the uh, worshiping god or loving god with all the heart with all the soul and some people take uh, cell phones and they go through the cell phones what all the whatsapp uh, any any message has come in the whatsapp while the mass is going on while the holy eucharist is going on some people go break the coconut uh, put the garlands they do not participate in the holy eucharist which is the source and submit of christian life so how can we half heartedly love god so we need we are called to love god with all our heart with all our soul with all our strength and with all our mind more love more power more of you in my life more love more power more of you in my life i will worship I you worship with you. all of my heart of i will worship heart. you with all of my strength i will worship you with all of my mind for you are my god for you are my god you take our hearts we love you take our lives oh father we are yours we are yours yours as we stand at the table you say yours as we eat the bread of us can forget we signs of your life we the sin we are yours we are yours take a breath we ask you take a heart we love you take a lives oh father we are yours we are yours pray my dear brothers and sisters that our sacrifice may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept your sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for all the good and the good of all his holy church trusting in your compassion o lord we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our lord amen the lord be with you and, and with your spirit. spirit lift up your hearts we, we lift, lift them, them up, up to, to the lord. lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it, it is, is right, right and, and just. just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord Amen. in him you have been pleased to renew all things giving us all a share in his fullness for though he was in the form of god he emptied himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation therefore he has been exalted above all things and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions with tobit and if with his family with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving you father thanks broke it gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim you are dead, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with our pope francis pope anthony our cardinal and the archbishop and all the clergy remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles with tobit and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him with him in him In the unity of the Holy Spirit all glory and honor is yours almighty father forever and ever Amen Let us pray with confidence to the father in the words our savior taught us Our father who art in, in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the second coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we who are called to partake his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Dear parents, for the waters of my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire, and I long to worship you. You. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord, those you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you, not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to it enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Let us go to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Stands in need of liberation, my Lord. He still has to feel your power. The blind and the deaf, the jump and the mist, all need to feel your healing touch. The world stands in need of liberation, my Lord. He still has to learn to love Those who have fears but refuse to hear The inhumanity has done There are those who have fears but refuse to hear 
the cries of those in agony. The world stands in need of liberation, my Lord. It still has to feel your power. The blind and the deaf, the dumb and the meat, all need to feel your healing touch. The world stands in need of liberation, my Lord. It still has to learn to learn.